Okay guys, so the first product I'm going to be starting with is the Tarte Shape Tape. This was a lot of people's favorite in 2017 just uh, because of the full coverage, um, the way that it blends into the skin, the way that how it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it rarely creases on me, you know, I don't have any problems with it. It gives a nice full coverage. It smells good. It doesn't smell bad because you know how some products can smell bad. This one doesn't. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a quick swatch on how uh, full coverage it is. So I'm just going to show you real quick how the coverage is on this one. So on this one what I like is I like the tube and the shades and the Tarte Shape Tape, they're so, like, there's so many shades. I'm in the shade light to medium. And I know a lot of people and a lot of YouTubers uh, use this shade. But look at how that coverage, like, goes and, and see how it blends. Like, it blends like a dream. Like, it's just awesome. And I just love the way that it gives the coverage on my eyes um, you know I have no problem with layering powders over it to set my concealer it's one of the best concealers that I've tried um, other than the NARS uh, radiant cream concealer um, I like that one uh, too but usually lately I've been reaching for uh, the shape tape and I just love it like I don't think I can go back with another concealer unless I get tired of it but I doubt that I will <laughs> so yeah this is um, the best one of the best concealers that I've used in 2017 and uh, this is a mascara this was like one of the it, it was a mascara that came out like not too long ago but I feel like they did like some type of like uh, they came out with a new formula in this type of mascara from Maybelline. Um, I didn't really see any commercials about it, but when I had gone to CVS not too long ago, it was like about a month ago, and it was like in one of the new sections. Um, I just, I don't know. I was, I was curious about the wand, but I just didn't like it. I didn't like the consistency. I didn't like the... I didn't like the way that it applied and the way that the mascara looked on my lashes. It just made my lashes look really weird and I just didn't like it. Um, it's the Maybelline Last Sensational Curvitude. Um, it's a little bit different than the other Last Sensationals from Maybelline. Um, this one, you pull it up and I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like a curve. Ooh this up sorry guys I'm gonna pull this up so okay so I don't know if you guys can see but it has like a weird curve to it weird curve wand and I have no problem with that um, usually with a lot of mascaras now they come with their, a slight curve but this one I don't know like it just it just didn't work out for me like once I was like turning the wand it was just like I don't know I feel like it was too much work and it didn't really plump up my lashes like I would want it to and the formula I feel like it was too thin like like I just felt that this one was too it was just too watery like I just I just didn't like it and I don't love it and there's better mascaras out there and I, I mean this one didn't work out for me if you guys let me know in the comments below like if you use this mascara and if it worked out for you I don't know if I did something wrong but this one just didn't work out for me but I do like my building though so. so the next product I'm gonna be talking about is uh, makeup forever HD foundation uh, this one I this one is not a new foundation but this was the first first time that I was using it and I've already used it for a couple months already and it looks flawless on the skin on my skin it looks like natural it looks like subtle it gives you like a coverage that doesn't look cakey it doesn't 
it doesn't go everywhere on me it's sent to the skin beautifully it blends like a dream like i have no problems uh blending with this foundation like this foundation it's like awesome like i love this foundation this foundation it's it just sets into the skin so beautifully and it just like it how can i explain it it gives me to a medium to full like i can layer it up but if i'm i'm kind of one of those girls that i'm in between i don't want to look too full coverage to the point where i get cakey and but i i do want to cover up like my uh scars and my pimples and all of that so this this foundation will will do it like this is like awesome i love the pump too um i love that it comes in the pump it's so easy you know some foundations they're nice but then some of them don't come in a good packaging and this makeup forever hd foundation um it's just awesome um if you guys are wondering i'm in the shade y335 um if you have like a similar skin tone uh to mine you know this shade might work for you um it's good for oily skin uh i really don't get oily with this foundation until probably at the end of the day um probably when i'm already like uh 10 hours into uh into the day with um this foundation is when i get oily but that's usually normal for me with any foundation um so that's just you know i mean to me that's that's a good deal um this price point is about average um it's about i believe if i'm not correct i think it's about 45 i'm not sure i may be wrong maybe it was more <laughs> maybe it was more but i will list the products and the prices down below and i will let you guys know so you can if you do like these products or seem interested in these products and you haven't um gotten a chance to try them you know you can look at it type it in see if you like it try it you guys let me know so the next uh the next product i will be talking about is the sd volume stylist cron hold mascara with micro styling waxes this mascara guys if you have not tried it it is the best one of the best mascaras i've ever tried this one does not flake up on me this one does not dry on me this one does not make my eyes itch um i first saw this mascara on one of the videos that tati had done tati westbrook if you don't know her she's one of the famous youtubers and she like like she made me buy it she literally made me buy it i was so curious because the wand is like uh, it's like it, there's a slight curve but it seems like perfect like for volume and i'm a person i wear contacts so i can't be i have to be very picky with my mascaras because if not they'll make me itch and certain mascaras will like make my eyes tear up and make me itch and make my eyes itch like make my eyes itchy and it's just not a good feeling and you know some mascaras will even like flake down on your face and then you see like <laughs> like little um black dots like around and that's usually like what happens to me with other mascaras but this one i have no problems with this one uh this one it has a good hold throughout the day it's very voluminous uh it makes my eyes like really pop um with this mascara and it's only 40.99 at ulta <clears throat> with uh essence they usually carry it at target and ulta so if you're wanting to try this mascara um it's very affordable they have also other mascaras too i just haven't tried them but this one seems to be uh my favorite right now so if you guys want to take a look at it and see if you try you can take a look at it and try it later 
and yeah, it's good. So the next product I will be talking about is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Face Powder. I, okay guys, I had no luck with this product. Like, I had no luck. I tried it with all, like, I, I usually give products a fair chance. So, just so that way, like, I can get an idea, okay, like, what, um, you know, like, what it's really about. Like, usually, you know, if you try a product for the first time, you know, you're not going to really get a feel of, like, what it really is. So, I tried this powder with multiple foundations, multiple times, and it just didn't work out for me. Like, I tried and tried, and it just, guys this powder i had no luck with like every time i would put this powder on to my face like over my foundation it would just like i don't know how to describe it it would just make my like dry patches like come out like around my nose around my like forehead right here in my t-zone like it would just make like this patch like it would just for me it would just sit in such and see like it would show more of my pores like I couldn't I just couldn't make this work like it's just for me it's kind of smooth but when it goes like on the skin I just feel like it doesn't do anything for me it just like I don't know it just this one didn't work out for me like the coverage isn't that much you know it doesn't really like set into the skin I don't know it's just I just had really bad products with this one it just doesn't work out for me um the color range was okay this one is in the shade nude beige um I think they only have like a couple colors in this one <clears throat> It's the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin uh, Skin Transforming Powder. Um, this one just didn't do it for me. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, it's soft, but it's just like, I just felt like, for me, it just sat on top of my skin and made my pores, like, more visible. And that's not what I want. So, yeah, this one I didn't like. This one... I'm going to throw away and yeah. <laughs> the next product I will be talking about is the Dermalogica uh, Special Cleansing Gel. Oh, you guys can't see it. Okay, there you go. The Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. Um, guys, I love this gel. This gel is like so awesome. Like... If you guys have oily skin, if any of you have oily skin and you're, you know, it's the end of the day and you need to take up your makeup off, this is it. Like, this is the product you should be reaching for. Um, this is so light on the skin. It takes up all of my makeup off. You know, sometimes when I just come out of the, you know, get home from the end of the day from work and I just want to take... All my makeup off and I just want to relax and just you know just cleanse everything off I usually do it with this and um, and there's a little this is this came from a kit um, that Dermalogica had and if you guys are wondering why like the products are minis is because it came in a kit and usually with me and skincare products I usually buy the minis uh, first to kind of determine if I like it or not and if I don't like it um, then that, you know I didn't waste my money or waste my time with the big with the big bottle of the product you know um, it won't hurt as much as if you know if I don't like it and once I finish these bottles I can always uh, purchase the bigger bottle you know that's that's never an issue you know that that's just how I do it with uh, trying new skincare products and so 
this one the way that it is it's like it's like a cream let's see it's like a it's like a cream that comes out and it takes up your makeup it's a balm it's a it's the pre-cleanse dermalogica pre-cleanse balm this one you do it first you do it first in the cleansing process and you put it on here on this little cleansing pad you put the water you put a little bit of water on it on the on the cleansing pad and then you rub and you rub and you rub and i'm telling you like it, it works so much because it takes off all my makeup i feel clean i feel refreshed like i feel like my skin can breathe <laughs> after the end of the day and then uh once you rinse off everything from the pre-cleanse balm then you'll go ahead and wash uh, with with the gel. The gel is light too. You know it won't feel heavy. It won't clog up your pores. It's so refreshing, and I just love the way um, that it feels onto my skin, and it feels good. So the next uh, product I'm gonna be talking about. I know this brand is so well known for their skincare but it just didn't work out for me I guess because it's more for dry skin and I'm more combination to oily you know and I just it just didn't work out for me as I had loved to you know but I'm gonna mention it and I'm sorry guys but this uh Tatcha cleansing oil oh man I feel bad because this brand is so like it's so uh it how do i explain it it's so well known for its makeup products and this one it just didn't work out for me like it was so oily i feel like even though after i washed my face multiple times like i still feel like I didn't get that actual clean and I guess because my skin is so oily that it doesn't need more oil and that's you know that's just usually how it goes you know when your skin is oily you need to use gel based products you know products that are going to make your skin feel light you know not actually weigh you know weigh your skin down and I just felt that the cleansing oil and the enzyme powder really just didn't do anything for me um they do give your skin some type of like moisture and it makes my skin felt soft but i felt that to actually cleanse and to give myself like that clean feeling that it's like taking you know some of the oil some of the dirt i didn't feel that with this products and it just didn't work out for me uh, i'm gonna be donating this to someone um because you know, it, I mean, they're good products. I'm pretty sure they'll be good products for somebody else. Um, you know, a lot of YouTubers have mentioned it, but it just didn't work out for me. And, you know, um, I love the packaging, though. The packaging is just awesome, but it just didn't work out for me. So, the next product I'm going to be talking about is the Ui Hair Care. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but... This is the Ui hair hairspray hair uh, wave spray. This one right here, ooh, this one right here is like awesome. So guys, so if you, I'm not gonna spray it on one of my hair because my hair is like straight, it's blow dried. I don't want to make it wave or anything or what. So this, okay, guys, if you not have tried, if you have not tried this spray, you gotta try it. Um this spray is like awesome like this spray you can use it when it's dry but i feel like it's best whenever you use it wet just because when you when you spray this onto your hair that's wet you can like crunch it up so that way you can um like make the waves and it's just awesome like this product like if you want like a subtle beach wave look and um, you just wash your hair. You can put this in your hair and spray it all over. Spray it at um, spray it at like the mid section of your hair and the root and the and the tips of your hair, and 
it'll make your hair wavy and I love the way that it smells it smells like uh, col not cologne it smells like perfume and it just smells so good and um, the only downside about this one though is that this one like after using it like two days um, it, it really gets your hair oily like if you use it for two days just because like I don't know if you guys can see but this, this product is kind of oily like it has some type of like serum oil in it and but it does make your waves it does make pretty nice waves with this uh, wave spray so that's a good that's a good one um so the next product i'm going to be talking about is the cody airspray loose face powder i know this product has been around for years years and years but uh, this year was the first time of for me trying it and i just love it i love the way that i can just take off the top um you know just grab a brush and just put it i use this to set my concealer i use this to um lightly just put like if i get oily um and it's towards the end of the day and i have to be somewhere i can just take a big brush lightly fluff it all over my face and just put the powder and it sets into my skin perfectly and it's just like i love the finish that it gives and it's only about i'm a, i believe it's only like eight bucks at walgreens and then i think it's five or six dollars at walmart so there there is a price difference and there is different shades the shade that i use is a translucent extra coverage one um this one it has like a I, I just like it because I like the undertone it has in the in the powder some powders they kind of you know they kind of make you look a little too white and it has like a grayish undertone and just it just didn't go well with my um, under eye and you know how sometimes like they're kind of dark and this one I feel like every time I use this powder like I get compliments on it like oh my goodness I love what you put onto your face like you just have like a nice like they, people always tell me like I have like a nice um, a nice base whenever I use this powder and I'm just like well is this powder I don't know I don't know what else to tell you I mean it's a it's a cheap powder so that one's good um, the only the only downside I have about this powder is that it smells like grandma like I I some people I know they can't stand the the smell but the smell um, I can take it I mean usually with when I'm applying the powder under my eyes or around my face um, usually it goes away within five minutes so I have no problem you know still applying the product even though when I'm first applying it it just has a strong perfume smell it doesn't smell bad to me but when I'm applying it, it's just, it's just, it's a little overboard, but I like the way it sets into my skin, and I like the way it applies, and so, yeah. And so, last but not least, I am going to be mentioning the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. So this highlighter came out, I forgot when it came out, but it did came out within this year. And it's the metallic high highlighter from Maybelline. It's in the shade 100 Molten Gold. And this one, oh my goodness, guys. If you haven't tried it, I don't know. You need to get on board. But this one, like, and let me just show you. I'm just, I'm just going to show you. So, like, look how nice that looks. Tell me look how nice that looks like it's so nice on the skin it's so creamy and it's just like it blends beautifully onto the skin is the highlight that I have right now um, sorry guys it's getting dark outside so you probably can't tell right now as much um, on my face but I just love this highlighter I use it every single day it I have Becca highlighters in there and 
I usually pick this one up before the Becca highlighters. Like, I need to do a restock though on my Becca highlighters just because um, I haven't done one in a long time. I'm 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 hitting pan on my Becca uh, highlighting palette that I have. But this one, I'll use it every single day. Every time I do my makeup, I put on this highlight, and it's just like I just love the way that it looks onto my skin, like. I love the way that it applies and I just like lightly, you know, tap it onto my face and it's just on my, you know, on the high points of my cheeks and it's just like, it just gives a beautiful finish. I like, I just love it and after, even when I put on my Milani setting spray, after I put it on, I spray it on me and it just makes that my highlight pop like. 10 times more and I just love the way that this looks and it's just awesome and uh, I hope that Maybelline will add a couple more highlighters to their collection um, you know probably like a pinkish gold one would would be good pretty soon and you know I can't wait to see what they put in their highlighter uh, metallic highlighter collection so so I think that uh, pretty much covers it. Um, I know this was a little long, guys, and I'm sorry. But I just, I got around to a lot of products this year. And I hope that this sums it up. Um, if you want me to do a part two, you let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you would like to see something, part, uh, you know, like a part two regarding some lippies um you know uh the ones i was really into was the nyx liquid suede ones i was really into those um those were a good um a good startup um and yeah i mean that's basically it um if you would like to see a part two regarding the lip products, best and worst, best and worst makeup lip products, uh, face, uh, not face products, um, eyeshadows. You know, I can leave that in. I can take that on for another video too. Um, and yeah, you guys, let me know. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Uh, if you, well, by the time this goes up, um, so be for Christmas well end of Christmas day but I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and that the new year brings good things for all of you and yeah I'm just excited and to see what comes next and what uh, the makeup brands will bring us and to what we uh, what new products we can test out and play with and yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching uh, today's video and I hope to see you soon. Thank you and good night. Bye guys.